this gonna be a quick video because I don't want to be on here all day because I want to keep enjoying where I'm at and I showed y'all views of it before this video started so you already know um, but I just wanted to say yesterday I decided to turn off my phone and just be and in that moment of being um, I first I took a walk my phone wasn't off then but I wasn't listening to anything and what I noticed was that I smelled all the smells coming from the trees and somebody had a fairly new fence up and I was able to smell the wood and then like I smelled the flowers I heard the songs that the leaves were making as the wind was moving through them it was so beautiful and I got home and I turned my phone off and I also I, I took a shower got my dinner ready and it's like everything that I was doing was so much more mindful so as I'm waiting on my dinner to finish I you know I'm all shea buttered up, you know, I'm all shea buttered up in my little pajamas or whatnot. And, um, and what ends up happening is I lay on my long couch and I'm looking at all the art that I made in my apartment and everything like that. And then all this peace and contentment just like rushed into my being. And it was just telling me like, you created this beautiful, peaceful life. Because, you know, sometimes we think, Oh, I got to be doing this. I got to be doing that. Blah, blah, blah. X, Y, Z. Da, 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 da. But you, then you realize like you set your life up in this way. If you're living intentionally to be the way it is. And I always wanted a peaceful life. You know, I grew up in an environment where peace, and I do apologize for this wind. But I grew up in an environment where peace was not a thing and it was hard to come by at times. Let me pause this. Look, I apologize for the wind. I cannot control it. But I just was looking at everything in my life like I created this beautiful, peaceful reality. And what deeply ingrained that into me was when I was on my way back home, you know, not listening to anything, I walked past um, this group of apartments and they were kind of like arguing. The parent, the daughter was sitting on the balcony and the parents were in the background arguing. And I just thought to myself, I'm so grateful yet obviously I felt some type of way because I don't want the child to you know go through that but I felt so grateful in that moment nothing exciting was happening nothing monumental was happening other than gratitude and looking around in my environment and seeing all the wonderful beauty that already surrounds me and our environment is a reflection of how we are internally with ourselves. If there's chaos around you externally, there's possibly chaos in you internally. So to elaborate further on this and save y'all ears from the wind, I've go I'm going to put a poem that I wrote at the end and y'all let me know what you think about it as always peace and love and i'll see you next time i no longer chase fleeting moments of happiness 
We conflate happiness with the achievements, celebrations, and extraordinary events that can never exist beyond the present moment. And when we don't feel that level of excitement, we think something is wrong. I allow myself to be fully present, fully immersed in peaceful contentness, because I know that it is the simple pleasures that will help me to maintain this state of being.